Working on shared documents from your desktop gives you all the advantages of a fully featured office suite, as well as offline access. But there's also the small chance that you might be editing a document at the same time as somebody else. This creates the potential for file conflicts. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to avoid or quickly solve these problems using the own cloud desktop client and a feature of LibreOffice called Record Changes. Okay, so here we see that my colleague Lars has downloaded the own cloud client onto his Mac. He logs into the OSCE Days server and chooses a location on his hard drive for the OSCE Days folder. The own cloud client will immediately start syncing with our OSCE Days cloud and downloading Lars's documents to his hard drive. Once everything's downloaded, Lars is going to edit our Berlin timeline using LibreOffice. The first and most important thing he should do is to set LibreOffice to record his changes. Now on the other side of Berlin, although Lars doesn't know it, I'm opening the same document from my own cloud folder in my computer. And just as Lars did, it's important that I also set LibreOffice to record my changes. Back on Lars's computer, he starts editing the document to update the team on his activities. At the same time, I'm adding information to the same document. Lars then saves and closes his document. And at almost exactly the same time, I do the same. Rather than only keeping one file and deleting somebody's work, OwnCloud notices that these files are different, so the last one to be saved becomes a conflict file. Now seeing that there's a conflict, I can easily resolve this problem in LibreOffice. First of all, I open the Berlin Timeline document once again. Here I see the changes that Lars made, but the changes that I made have disappeared. That's because these are stored in the conflict document. So what I need to do is merge the two documents. I will select the conflict file as the document to merge, and LibreOffice will show me the differences between the two documents. I can then decide to accept or reject particular changes. In this case, I want to keep both Lars's changes and my own changes, so I can simply click Accept All. Then I just save and close the Berlin Timeline document. In order to keep things tidy, I should also delete this conflict file, as I've already taken the information I need from it. To be honest, it's relatively unlikely that team members will save documents at exactly the same time. I'll show you what happens when a new version is saved while I'm still editing the document. So here's Lars doing further editing to this document. He simply needs to check that record changes is set, and then he's ready for editing. At the same time on my computer, I decide to edit the same document. Again, I check that record changes is set. So here we see Lars adding further information to the document, and then he can simply save it and close it. At the same time, I'm editing exactly the same cells as Lars's, but with updated information. At this stage, we see from my desktop notification that some of my files have changed. And when I go to save and close this document, I'm informed that the document has been changed by others. In this case, rather than overwrite the changes of my team member, I'm going to save my document as a different name. Here I'll add my name and the time to my document. I can then close LibreOffice and see what the conflict is. So we can see there's a version saved at 8 minutes past 4, and my version saved at 9 minutes past 4. So once again, it's simply a matter of merging the documents. I open the original file in LibreOffice, I see Lars's changes, and then I merge his document with mine. Here we have the situation where both of us have edited the same cells. So in this case, we want to look at the specific changes. In this case, I can see that my information is more up-to-date than Lars's, so I'm going to select my changes and accept them. I can then save the document and delete the extra file. 
Another thing to remember is that OwnCloud maintains backups of every version of each document, which means that if we want to restore Lars's information at some later stage, it's still there if we need it. Both OwnCloud and LibreOffice are free Libre open source software, and you can download them here.